What's going on, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of Stonewall Penitentiary. Uh, just a quick apology for not having an episode the last time, uh, last week, week before, whatever it was. Uh, just been super busy around the house, and um, lots of family things going on. Nephew graduated, father's birthday, brother-in-law's birthday, all that kind of stuff. So lots going on, but we did learn that... Uh, Last time we were over here somewhere, and uh, the nerd guy and the movie star apparently plotted uh, together to get rid of her husband. So I said, we're going to go into solitary and interrupt the two that were in here, potentially, or we can go back to the execution chamber. I think we'll start right here, just kind of see what's going on. Whoa, oh, crap! And I'm dead. <laughs> Somebody set up a booby trap. Hey, look, it's me and my little race Hi, car. Dad. My race car bed. Hey, bud. Oh no. It's, what you doing? It's my kid. Drawing mazes. Mazes, huh? Do you ever have any trouble finding your way out of them? No. Because I made them, dummy. I know a secret. <laughs> What's the secret? Always go left. Always stay glued to one of the walls. That way, no matter what, you'll always find your way out. <laughs> That's very clever, son. I love you, Dad. I love you too, Jason. And then he wakes up in a pit of snakes. Oh, I must have lost consciousness from fall. How long was I out? Three weeks and two days. Hello? Grayson? Anyone? Damn. I must be too far underground for the signal to get through. My god, how far did you fall? Oh. My thoughts. Twice in one night, not something I'd recommend. I dreamt of Jason again, and this time the conversation... This time of the conversation we had about all was following the right wall to get out of the mazes. Damn it, why can't I mind can't my mind let it be? Especially given the present circumstances. I fed down a shaft and somehow ended up in the sewers. I'm lucky I didn't injure myself. <laughs> Except for losing consciousness. Uh, probably had brain damage by now. I need to find a way out of here, and fast. I'm sweating. The sewage isn't helping my nausea, and I'm so thirsty. You're always thirsty. So, this is from last episode. Louise Algar and Becca Rowan, you know each other. That's a surprise. They claim to want to keep their relationship a secret, but they don't seem too shy about showing it. Uh, how can they think about sex at a time like this? Beats me. But hey, whatever floats their boat, right? We all have our vices. Did Becca really do her husband in? And did Lewis know about it? Who are, the, who are these people? I wonder what other secrets people are hiding. Uh, Louis is a great A butthole, but not that I hadn't already figured that out. He was definitely responsible for someone's death, albeit indirectly. Uh, the more I talk to this guy, the less I can stand him. But he could be the one keeping us here. My instinct says no, but I've been wrong before. It's been hours since I've had a drink. I'm nauseous and my head is pounding. Every man for herself, captors among us. Uh, on our way back to turning on the power, Jesse and I encountered a captive, a woman named Becca. Why is the thing still flashing? What am I missing here? We've read all these before. Okay, so... I, I just want to get rid of the flashing so I didn't know when I got something else. William, all about cafeteria, very eager. Why is it still flashing? Damn it! We read all this. Okay, stop flashing. Maybe the music needed to stop. Okay, so we gotta stick to the right wall. To dead end. Wheel. Look at. I wonder what this does. Oh, let's turn it and see what happens. The wheel is too high up. I can't reach it. Dude, that's three feet off the ground. How tall are you? Lots and lots of sewage. Mm. 
to Knott's Landing. Back to the pipe. More pipes. Okay, let's go back to Knott's Landing. And to the gate. There was no way I could squeeze through those bars. Uh, no, if you stay down here long enough, you're going to uh, lose quite a bit of weight. So you might be able to. To sludge. Back to the landing. Okay, let's go to the sludge. Sewage. Oh, the stench of this place will haunt me till the end of my days. Oh, no. There's something there. I think it looks like a light, but it could be something else. To the gate. And yeah, so we go back to the gate. To the landing. Can't go there. Wood planks. Take them. I gotta build a box to stand on. Okay, uh... Which way, uh, we should go counterclockwise to loosen it. It sounded like turning the wheel caused the sludge to flow. Woohoo! Uh, to the landing. Over here. To the sludge. Holy crap, there's an oil canister. Uh... Oh. Wait. It's nearly empty. Would you use it on the gate? Can I use the oil on me? Lube myself up and squeeze through? No? Okay, I gotta get out of here. So if we go back to this guy. Uh, before we do it twice. I'm going to go back here and check. Okay. Oops. So we'll turn it again, I guess. The wooden plank split in half from the force of rotating the wheel. Oh, no. Okay, so... I just wanted to make sure that we didn't only have to do it once. Hey, wait a minute. The thing's gone. Whatever was there. This might be. Yeah. How does the discarded mattress end up in the sewers? It's probably from the homeless guy that's living down here, and you just took his bed. Way to go, buddy. Way to go. Okay. Now we can use the crowbar. It took every ounce of strength I had, but I used the crowbar to bend the bars and grant passage to the other side. I could have done that with my hands. Oh, me and another wheel. I'm guessing that this wheel controls the bridge. Oh, good guess. And uh, we can't go anywhere else. No, just to the gate. The wheel was stuck due to rust. Ooh, ooh, I have the perfect thing for that. Look at this. Well, I even kept a little piece of the wood. I used the remainder of the oil in the canister to lubricate the wheel. Fantastic. Man, I'm so smart. Even lubricated, the wheel was too tight to turn by hand. Use the crowbar. Shit, the crowbar's stuck in the wheel. I'll have to leave it there. I figured something like that would happen. 
All right. Go to the crossroads. Wonderful. More sewers. It's okay. I think we're sticking all to the right. Oh, shit. Hey, what's up, dude? Can you help me get out of here? Nice! He hit me with a hammer! You died. I just wanted to see what happened. Wonderful. Okay, we can't go that way. Oh, oh crap! I'll, uh... Run! Oh, God. I need to catch my breath. Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. He'd see me going inside. Can't take much more. I think the door will hold. Thank God. I couldn't take much more of that. That was intense. But you never turned the wheel. <laughs> I am not going to turn the lights off. It's frightening enough down here as it is. Well, I bet you when he comes through the door and he shuts them off, you're going to crap your pants. We need that. A metal cabinet labeled breathing apparatus. Could have used that at the beginning of this whole adventure. The cap. Ooh, wait a minute. I think I have a solution for that, too. Ah, uh, the key didn't fit. No. Oh. Ah, uh, the key didn't fit. Shut up, Will. Oops. Nope. Unless that's a cask of liquor, I'm not interested. Oh, dude. Up is good. Are you sure? What's that? Looks like a handle or a lever or something. Oh, it's a handrail. Okay, that's what that is. I was eager to get out of the sewers and had no interest in the crate. Well, you should. Oh, we have a note here. I saw him, our captor, or should I say killer. He's dressed like a judge and he's holding an oversized cavil. Ordinarily, I'd say it looks ridiculous, but he didn't hesitate to come at me with that thing. I'm lucky I got away. Oh, by the way, I got busted in the last episode for um, demonetizing because apparently there was sexual innuendos and stuff in there. So I'm going to watch what I say just so I don't get knocked down again. Um, yeah, it's kind of stupid, but whatever. <laughs> All right, I guess we're going up the ladder. We're not going to get the breathing apparatus. Oh, hey, we're in here. And we're making a hell of a racket. What the hell was that noise? D did something crash? Yeah, I think so. One down. Uh. Okay, lockers. We've already gone in here. We've already done that. I don't think there's anything we need to do in here. Uh, why must... Because we gotta find the keys first before we do it. Um. Oh yeah, baby. Uh. Oh, a box. Empty boxes. Damn it! Let's read the notebook. This janitor sounds like. Whoa, a whoa! Calm down, dude. A notebook sat on the table. Okay, so I read it, and then that's all it says? I don't even get to see what it is? There was nothing inside. Uh -huh. Well, it's a flat box. What was your first guess, you boob? If I'm ever in need of cardboard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. A row of industrial dryers lined the northern wall. The washer stood on the other side. Yeah. An exhaust vent. Without it, this room would have probably become. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Might as well look at that one too. Yeah. Okay. Table. 
Stainless steel. And we can't turn around. I guess we'll look at the shelves. I could use some nice, sturdy shelving like this in my. Really, dude? And that's what you're thinking about? Is your dang studio? You. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so there was absolutely no reason to come in here. I'm guessing a water pipe? Good guess. Let there be. Mm. Yeah. Notebook. So, let me check out this here. Uh, you guys can pause it and read it. Um, Doral refuses to give me a raise. Uh, tells me every time. Doral gave me a clock to fix. Uh, she said I was forcing myself on her. I'll show that little, you know what? I'm getting sick of this place. Doral asked about the clock again. Uh, vacation days, I wouldn't have to skip off work. Uh, Dural finally realized I've been skipping work. He sent me a letter warning me to do a better job. Like, I care. Oh, crap. I help something. I'm fired. The mother, well, I'm not leaving. What's he going to do? Throw me in one of the solitary cells? Maybe. Okay, so that could be... I was about to leave, but I felt like I'd missed something in this room. Oh, I see it, yeah. I couldn't reach it by hand. I needed something really thin and long. I w normally would say something right there, but let's keep it PG. All right. Got it. Yeah, you did. Good boy. Hmm. Taped to the note is a small key. I'll take that too. Ooh. All right. Gate codes. Visitor gate, north gate, kitchen gate, south gate. Oh, and we probably need the morgue one. No. Okay. Well, I'm going to go back in here. Back in here. Go down here. Whoa. There we go. Yeah. I have a key to... Damn it. Okay. Wait, what did that say that was? A golden key. Okay. And then we have a small utility key as well. Nothing. Hmm. Okay, we've done all that crap before. That's where I fell. Can we go upstairs? Yeah, here it is. Whoa! Oh my god! From the skin tone on his feet, I think... I think that is... Was... Lewis. Dude. It looks like the elevator car came down and crushed him. But the guy in the radio. What was Lewis doing inside the shaft? And why was the elevator door open before the car came down? Was he pushed? Maybe. Crushed by an elevator. What a way to go. Yeah, horrible. Okay, but I really don't want to use the stairs, so. I think I'll take the stairs. Oh, really? Do we have to? Okay, well, let's talk to Gerard. Damn. Yeah. Have you found a way out? There are none, as far as I can tell. So me, I'm just gonna make sure I get through the night. Yeah, sounds like a plan, dude. Unlike this guy. Yeah. Where were you when this happened? In the elevator. Hey, are you accusing me of doing this? No, just asking a simple I'm question. Sorry. I shouldn't have said that. I was on my way down here when it happened. I heard a crashing noise. Found Lewis like this. Ah. 
Be careful, Gerard. Yeah. You seem like a decent dude. You too, man. Yeah. I think I'll stick by your side, man. Wait, where'd you go? Hey, wait, glasses. Lewis's glasses. It was definitely him that got crushed. Achievement unlocked eye for details. Okay, so we got his glasses. Lewis, which one was he? Was he the nerd? Okay. Lewis Elgar is dead. He's crushed by an elevator. The guy was a major butthole. Yeah, it was. Uh, but didn't deserve this. I'm still processing everything. Was it some kind of accident or motor? I'm terrified. <laughs> All right, everybody. That's going to do it for this episode. Um, yeah, we're going to have to figure out what the heck is going on. Because if that was Lewis, the nerd, nerdy guy, then I thought he was kind of in on it with the actress lady or whatever her name was. So, huh. I guess we're going to have to wait and find out. Hope you're enjoying this series. If you are, you know what to do. And I will see you all next time. Take care.